Okay guys, so I'm out here doing the follow-up video to the Abu Garcia Revo customization. And basically, we're gonna see what this $20 bait finesse spool can do. Now, I've got it paired up with the Ace Hawk CU Double. It's only six foot long. I have the ultralight tip and I got four pound mono. Now, I just wanna clarify that these results, of course, will vary depending on the rod you use. I'm using probably, in my opinion, the best bait finesse rod for casting that I've used so far. All right, so what I've done was I've pre-selected three lures ranging from around 1 8th of an ounce down to 1 16th of an ounce. And I'm gonna show you guys what this spool can do. Now I got the spool tension set to just minimize the side to side play. And the first lure we're gonna cast is gonna be this Rapala Ultralight Minnow, it's a number four. So I think with this snap swivel, you're probably looking at right at one eighth of an ounce or 3.5 grams. All right. Okay, so I've already preset the brakes. Let me show you what this spool can do. Now I'm just gonna flick this out there. I'm not really gonna put much effort into it. I'm just gonna flick it with my wrist. But first I'm gonna wait for these birds to get out of the way because I blew pretty sure I can reach them. Okay, there they go. All right. Here we go. Pow. That one out there, probably at least 80 foot, if not close to 90. And I just barely just flicked my wrist out there. Now, I actually took this combo fishing last weekend after I made that video and this reel this spool along with these dry hybrid ceramics makes this feel like a centrifugal brake reel and the fact that you're getting some noise you're also feeling a little bit of vibration but it makes the spool so fast and free casting as well feels like a centrifugal brake reel to me all right let me see if i can i'm going to turn the brakes up one click so i don't want to overpower these magnetic brakes and we're gonna actually put some effort into it let me see if I can cast any farther man that must have went out there close to 100 foot hopefully you guys can see where this lure is landing now this is once again a Rapala ultralight minnow number four with the hooks and it's got a pretty decent sized sap swivel but I of course will put the true weight of this lure on the screen for you. All right, one more cast. All right, so that is pretty damn impressive. So for anyone who doesn't even throw lures any lighter than this, that's what you can expect. Probably close to, close to 100 foot Okay, so for all you guys who like to throw plastics, I didn't leave you out. I got a Kitech Easy Shiner with a 1 16th ounce head. It weighs a little bit over 1 8th of an ounce. Of course, I'll put a picture on the scale for you. Let me show you how this thing slings plastics with some weight. It's going to do an easy sidearm flick. Pow hitting at least 25 yards in my estimation. I could probably go down on the brakes a little bit because this is a little bit heavier. But yeah, that's the kind of distance you can expect throwing a Kitech Easy Shiner with the 1 16th ounce head. All right, I'm gonna turn the brakes up one click and put some effort into it. Hopefully you guys saw that. That probably went out close to 100 foot. Now when it comes to these upper end bait finesse weights, you won't see a huge, huge difference between a spool like this versus a dedicated bait finesse reel, let's say like the Abu Garcia Revo 8, 
which is the much more expensive brother to this Revo X. Now it's only when you start dropping those lure weights down to under three grams is when you should see some big separation between the two. All right, so that means we're gonna go down to an even lighter lure. Okay guys, so up next we have a lure that's gonna be a great test of this spool. I don't know the brand, I think it's Bagley or something like that. It's a minnow that weighs about 2.4 grams, if I remember correctly. Now with the snap swivel, it will weigh a little bit more and I'll put a picture of it on the scale for you. But I don't think this minnow has any kind of internal weights. So it kind of casts awkward. So this is gonna be a great test for this spool. And I'm just gonna casually flick this out there. Pow. Probably went out there at least 20 to 25 yards. Have a slight overrun at the beginning of the cast, so I know I'm on the limit. So those of you guys who like to cast these ultralight lures for trout or whatever you fish for, this is how this spool is going to perform for you. Yeah, that one out there, probably at least 70 foot. So now I'm gonna turn these brakes at one click, put some effort into it. Yep, had an overrun. I think that really slowed that spool down. I wanna try again. All right, we're gonna do some overhead cast now with this little minnow. Nice, very, very nice. It's going out there at least 70 foot in my estimation. A couple more casts. So that is definitely, definitely doable for bait finesse. So once again, this is about a two and a half gram lure for all you guys who throw lures this light. Okay guys, so up next is the true test for this reel in my opinion. That is a 1 16th ounce lure. Now of course the snap swivel does add some weight and I'll put the picture of the actual weight on screen for you. Now I'm just gonna casually sling this out there. Man, <laughs> that's impressive. That's going out there at least 65 to 70 foot in my estimation. No problems with the spool either. The brakes on the Revo X are definitely more than adequate for bait finesse. And these bearings make this spool cast so free. Like there's no, none of that restrictive feeling you feel with a lot of these magnetic brake reels. It just fires these tiny lures out there. All right, let's do an overhead. Hopefully you guys can see where these casts are landing. Now, as far as this handle goes, I usually like flat knobs, but since these are smaller round knobs, they're actually pretty comfortable. And these little designs and cutouts on the knobs make them really easy to grip. But since they are metal, they do get cold. Easily, easily cast this little 1 16th ounce lure. easily easily cast it out there all right there you go guys this $20 bait fitness spool from aliexpress it's very very impressive and i am going to leave a link to where i got it in the either description or the comments but i did want to say one more positive thing about this spool is that when i did blow the spool up i can't remember one time where the line actually got in between the frame and the spool 
So the tolerance between the frame and the spool is excellent. And that's always a plus for bait finesse. Because when the line gets in between the frame and the spool, that's always a headache to try to pick out. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm very impressed with this spool and how it transformed the Revo X into a legit top performing bait finesse reel. But I'm gonna do a little bit of bonus casting with the reel that this spool was actually made for. That is the Black Max. So this is for all you Black Max owners or Pro Max or whatever kind of Max reel you have from Abu Garcia. That's pretty much the same as this. We're gonna see how the Black Max can bait finesse. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward. I take the spool out of the Revo X, take the spool out of the Black Max, stick the spool into the Black Max, there we go, it's as easy as that. Okay guys, here we go. The Black Max is all set up on the rod. And I'm just gonna do a few casts with each weight of lure and show you guys how the Black Max can do. Now keep in mind that there's only one hybrid ceramic spool bearing on the Black Max while the other one is stock. But here is the 1 8 ounce Rapala Ultralight Minnow. The wind has died down, so you guys can see where this thing lands. We've got the spool tension set to just minimize side to side play. Holy shit, where did that bird come from? I hope I don't hook into him. Anyway, I got the brakes set here, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, let's see what this Black Max can do. Now, hopefully, this bird will not try to get at my lure or that would be very very interesting all right here we go pow oh my god that went out there <laughs> had to have been close to 100 foot that is incredible and keep in mind a lot of that is this rod as well as I said before, this is probably my favorite bait finesse rod I've ever bought. And with this rod, the Black Max combined with this spool can launch this 1 8 ounce lure, probably approaching 100 foot. All right, one more cast. All right, had some fluffing there towards the middle of the cast but it sorted itself out but yeah the black max actually feels better on this rod than that revo x because it's so much lighter all right let's switch up the lures now all right switching up to this little 2.4 gram little fake grub lure see what this thing can do Shit, that went out there probably almost as far as that Rapala Ultralight Minnow. It's going out there at least 80 foot. Hopefully you guys saw that. Now I do know there are some internal weights in this lure and that definitely helps casting but still it's 2.4 to 2.5 grams. Damn, that is going out there farther than a lot of Bait casters can cast a quarter ounce lure. All right, one more cast on this this three thirty second ounce lure. Boom! Zero fluffing on the spool. I probably could have went down like one click on the brakes, but it's not necessary. And there's that bird again. It's a pretty bird. He can hold his breath a long time. All right, guys, 16th ounce little minnow on the Black Max. Let me show you what it can do. Huh. 
all right that's going out there a minimum of 65 to 70 foot very very impressive so this spool for twenty dollars just adds a whole new dimension to any Black Max or Revo X or any of the Abu Revos that the spool will fit into. One more cast with a 16th ounce. Boom. Probably going at least 75 foot. All right, so there we go. So for all you guys who are wondering where to get this spool, I'm gonna leave a link once again in either the comments or the description of the video as well as a link to the other parts if they're still available on the uh, Revo X Custom. Okay guys, so I'm out here at my trout spot and we're going to be testing out this Revo Bait Finesse Spool. I got it spooled up with 4 pound fluoro Actually, I spooled it straight from the PW100, and they have about the same line capacity. And we got a couple of fly fisher guys out here, and I don't really see them catching much. The river is super low, which actually is a good thing because the trout are going to be stacked up pretty much. So let's see if I can catch something, and we're also going to test the limits of this spool to see how low it can throw okay we're going to start off with the good old trusty lucky craft pointer 48 going to set the spool tension to just minimize the side to side play luckily this revo x does have a spool tension clicker okay and i'm going to start with the brakes on maximum see what happens okay first cast okay not bad I was kind of wondering if these brakes would be strong enough but so far, so good. Wow, that's with the brakes on maximum. It's slinging this lure out there about a good 30 foot. Spool control, very good. You can definitely hear these dry ceramic bearings. So let's start backing these brakes down. Whatever it was, it missed. Hope you guys saw that. All right, let's try to back the brakes down some more and get a little bit more distance. Got one. Ooh, that's a nice rainbow. That is a nice rainbow trout. All right. Revo bait finesse strikes. All right, we got a pretty decent rainbow trout here on the Revo bait finesse. Let him go, see if we can get another. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see by the video footage that this is one badass little spool. And once again, I'm gonna leave a link to where I got it from, from AliExpress, and I think I'm gonna leave it in the comments section 
but the brand of this spool is, I don't know how to pronounce this, the name, uh, du Dukio or something like that. But either way, I just wanna let you guys know that this spool comes in two other colors, gold and black, if you don't like red. And this is actually made, once again, for the Black Max or the Max series. So that means it will fit the Silver Max and the Pro Max. But as you can see, it also fits the Revo X. Now there was someone who asked me in the comments whether this would work on their Revo S or their Revo SX. And honestly, I don't know. Now if all the Revo 4s have a 33 millimeter spool and the same length spool shaft, and it's gotta be the long spool shaft, so any of the short spool shaft abus, this is not gonna work with. But theoretically it should work. So if your your Revo S or your Revo SX has a spool with the long spool shaft and has a 33 millimeter diameter, then technically it can work. So yeah, very, very impressed with this spool and the way it transforms either the Revo X or the Black Max into a top performing bay finesse reel. Now of course, we had the hybrid ceramic bearings paired up with the Revo X and as well as the Ace Hawk CU Double Ultralight Rod and that really helped out as well. But there's no denying that this thing was slinging super lightweight lures a really, really good fishable distance. Now, if you go on AliExpress, they actually have several aftermarket shallow spools for the Abu Garcia Black Max that will fit into the Revo X, but just do your research because a lot of those spools are different weights, and usually they will tell you the weight of the spool before you buy it. But yeah, there we go. So if you have a Black Max, Revo X, any of the Max series, you want to get into bait finesse, Definitely take a look at this spool for only 20 bucks. It's amazing. All right, guys, thanks a lot.